Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and many of you have been messaging me lately concerned that someone could easily log into your iPhone knowing just your simple passcode on your screen without using face ID or touch ID and then change your entire account password. We've seen this in news lately and this is something I wanted to help you secure so it's not so simple. So if we log in with a simple passcode, I just have one, two, three, four, five, six set up for this demonstration. I highly recommend a more secure passcode. Now, once you're logged in, if you don't have certain things in place, someone could easily go to your ID at the top and then tap on password and security, and then you'll see change password. They can tap on change password. And then after you put in that same password again, one, two, three, four, five, six, they can easily just change your password for your iCloud account or your Apple ID and just completely gain access to photos and more. We need to stop this from happening until Apple finds a different way to fix this. For now, we have a solution. So we'll go back to our settings and within settings, we want to scroll down to screen time under screen time. You'll see turn on screen time. Now, if you already have this enabled, we'll just go to the settings, but let's go into screen time and turn it on and give it just a second to set up here. And the first thing we need to do is use a screen time passcode. So we'll go ahead and set that up. So we'll tap on use screen time passcode. And for this demonstration, we'll just use four, three, two, one. Again, I highly recommend a more secure passcode, but we'll put that in, give it just a moment to set up. Once you've set up your screen time passcode, you'll now see it says change screen time passcode. That's how you know it's enabled. Just above that, where it says content and privacy restrictions, we want to go in here and change a couple settings. So first enable content and privacy restrictions, then scroll down to the bottom where it says allow changes. Under allow changes, we need to change two settings here. The first one we want to change is passcode changes. So we'll switch that to don't allow, and then we'll go back and change account changes again to don't allow. Once those are both switched to don't allow, if we go out to our main page where there's our settings at the top, we no longer have access directly into change our account settings. That way we can no longer change the passcode, meaning that the passcode is completely separate for screen time than it is for your device. So again, if we go to our lock screen, go in, if you're not using face ID or maybe touch ID. We can put in one, two, three, four, five, six, just my simple passcode for demonstration. You'll see it's still grayed out. The only way to get this to go back so we can change it is go back into our screen time settings and either turn off screen time altogether or go in and change those content and privacy restrictions. And again, we'll be prompted for our passcode. So you can't do this without the separate passcode, then you'll be able to access it and change your password. So this is a way to really lock down your password so that someone can't easily change it and really take control of not only your Apple ID and iCloud account, but all of your messaging settings and everything else. This is a much better way to lock everything down. Hopefully Apple implements something similar in the future where they prompt for a new password or maybe some sort of two factor authentication before actually allowing people to change the passcode. It definitely is something that needs to be a little bit more secure, but for now, this is a way to lock that down and prevent anyone with their ID, with your phone ID from logging in and changing your passcode and gaining access. So hopefully that helped you out. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, it will be linked in the description as it normally is. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.